Hi guys, so in this video I wanted to show you how to use your butcher shop on wheels. Once you receive it, how do you start it up, how do you get it to go. So on the back end we have the generator. Uh, you're going to have the same thing on your truck as well because the generator is going to sit in the back of the trailer, in the back of your truck and you're going to connect it. So you get this wire basically, um, you connect it on the 30 amp on the generator itself and then it's the three prong just so you know. Okay, you, you basically put it in and then twist it, twist it to the right. You, uh, this is the ignition key for the generator itself. You make sure it's got gas on top, but this one does because we checked it. Put it on on position and hold the button. And it automatically is gonna come on. You wanna make sure the, three, uh, the green light is on. But if it's overloaded, you add too much things, the red light's gonna come on. But right now, she's good to go zero hours brand new generator okay on this end you're gonna have this side basically in for the for the trailer itself just so you see it and then you connect it the same way you gotta make sure you connect it to the same prong only one of them has a twist on the inside which is the top one There you go, put it in and twist. Now your trailers is your trailer is connected to your generator. You should have full power. And then let me show you how to start up. First thing you're gonna do once you set up on the spot, you have four jacks all around the trailer itself. You have a jack in every single corner. You're gonna park it on even ground, then you're gonna connect, um, then you're gonna lower the jacks and you're gonna even out the whole trailer. Okay? Then you're gonna turn it on and then connect your generator. But in this case, I just wanted to let you know that that's what you do. Uh, right now, I'm not gonna lower the jacks, but you're going to. This is your drain. This is where you're going to drain out all of the gray water out of your trailer. You have a little twist nozzle. Sorry, the nozzle is actually on the inside, but this is basically, you're gonna take it to a car wash, manhole or anything like that. This is where you're gonna drain out uh, the gray water tank. Here, you have a little side container and this is where you're going to uh, put in fresh water. So the keys are on the inside, inside the booklets. You're going to open it, put in your uh, any garden hose and then fill out the clear water tank. Once it fills out, you're going to have a spillage on right here as well on the top of it. You're going to see a spillage. That's how you know your clear water tank is full. Okay. So you come on into the back. We're going to open the back end as if you're ready to operate. So once you're leveled, you're ready to go. You turn on your generator. The trailer itself is leveled. Now we're gonna turn it on. When the trailer is off, you have to make sure that every single one of these switches are actually turned off, which is on the outward position. So they're all off like this right now. And you're gonna relabel them for you. So the winch, freezer ac cooler fridge sink counter water heat line cutting table meat smoker water pump lights okay so we're just going to turn on the lights and you're going to see that but right now one by one i can turn every single thing on okay your water heat line is only supposed to be used in the uh, winter so when it's very very cold you turn that on and it keeps the water warm if water or anything freezes warranty does not cover it because you're not supposed to have any water inside uh, while it's freezing so what we do during freezing so this is your single hand washing sink this is your three bay dishwashing sink and then your water system is right here so what are you gonna do in the in the winter you're gonna see this no this nozzle right here you're gonna twist that put this into an antifreeze and then you're gonna run that through the lines to make sure that the system doesn't freeze and that your water heater is not damaged as well. And what you're also going to do with the water heater, you're, you have a, a drain valve right here in the winter. Turn the drain valve, water heater drains out all the way to the floor. So in the winter, make sure there's no water inside the water heater or inside the water tanks. You start fresh every single day, okay? So here is your winch. 
basically we mounted this custom swivel you take this portion out you can lift up the meat the animal or whatever on the outside to cut it up and then you can bring it inside basically this is your on and off switch okay so you see that on the inside it's all functioning okay you're gonna have your water pump water pump and water heater you turn these on when you need hot water and your water pump going so right now i don't think there's any water in it but there's a little bit so you can so you can see that's the hot water and this is the cold water same with the hand washing sink there's only a little bit of water left that's why a little bit comes out but you have your main uh for your paper towel dispenser and then your hand soap you just li literally lift the top up fill it up from the top for all of your um hand washing soap your cooler here <clears throat> inside it you have your manual that you can see and then the cooler itself when you're driving you can lock it so that none of the food or the drinks or whatever you're putting inside comes on okay and as you can see the light is on and right here <clears throat> you can see the temperature Okay, and then on here you have your um, your meat smoker. Okay, so here's the power button. You turn that on right on the top, and then you can select the different temperatures what you want to do, and then Once you select the temperature, this is automatically going to come on. Now, we left the instruction manuals for everything here for you guys. So this is for the winch. This is for the meat smoker. This is your uh, remote control for the AC inside the freezer room. Batteries. This is your keys for the side door. It's all in here. Just make sure whenever you're operating anything, you go over the instructions to make sure you're operating properly. On here, you, we also have a 110 amp plug-in. So when you don't have your generator connected, then you can connect the 110 volt plug-in and bring it to a landline. Keep in mind, you may not be able to turn everything on at the same time because this is a um, this is like a 80 amp system and that's why it works much better with the generator. This is your tool to level up the jacks and you have your power tool adapter as well. Okay, we're gonna leave all of this inside for you so this is basically the first room um, here you have your ventilation if you wanted to let go especially using the smoker you're gonna have smoke coming out of the top and then just open and close so while driving make sure that it is closed <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go into the freezer room and I'm gonna show you how to use that So your main freezer room in is actually all uh, sealed up from the top, which you can see right on the inside. As soon as you turn it on, you have your AC button right here and the freezer lights. Your AC button is on. As soon as you turn on the AC button, your, your freezer here is going to turn on. You need an hour and a half to get it to temperature. It goes up to um, zero degrees or minus five, but you need an hour and a half with the doors closed and then this will turn into a freezer. So when you need to plug it in at nighttime, you have to make sure you have to leave this on at nighttime. Uh, in terms of maintenance, there isn't much, just keeping the uh, area cleaned, keeping all the equipment and stuff like that cleaned. Um, so if you need to make a claim in case of warranty. I'm obviously here for you guys. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Thank you.